try it out in New York and I loved it. So and... Oh, shit. I'm like so excited. the first day of vlogmas you guys I don't know what I'm getting myself into right now um, I convinced Lake to do vlogmas this year we have never vlogged this consistently ever so this will be new territory for us we think we're gonna do Monday through Friday vlogs and then take the weekends off keep updated but that's the plan for now we just barely got home from New York we got dropped off at home and then I got in the car dropped off some film to be developed because it's 1 57 and they told me if I came before 2 then they could get my film back to me today so I went to the film store dropped it off I got some new film a roll or a pack of the portrait 400 which is my favorite and then I also got some Kodak Ultramax which I tried out in New York and I loved it so I'm excited to give that another shot and then I also got this one which I don't think I've used before it's the Kodak Gold film is expensive guys it is not a cheap hobby to have but I love it so I'm excited to get the film pictures back they're all of our Thanksgiving photos I'll show it to you guys on this vlog since I'll, I should be getting it back in like an hour I just have them sent to my email and then I download them to my computer from my email so gas is low I might need to go get gas right now I slept the entire flight I'm talking from the moment that I got on and like we took off till the captain came over the intercom and said we're preparing for landing I slept for five hours at least maybe five and a half hours because I think the flight was almost six hours long so I am well rested. Leif though did not get any sleep. He slept for like 30 minutes. So um, we had to get up at 5 a.m. to catch this flight. So he's pretty tired, but I feel pretty good, honestly. Anyway, backtracking again. I'm really excited for Vlogmas. I have never done anything like this, but I think it's gonna be really fun. We have a lot of fun plans this month, and I just think it'll be fun to like take you guys along on our lives. So hope you guys are excited. I know a lot of different vloggers probably do Vlogmas, and maybe it's hard to keep up. I've literally never even watched other people's vlogmas vlogs i take that back i've watched aspen and parker's um i've watched some of their vlogs for for vlogmas but other than that i don't know like if there's a formula for this or if you just vlog your days so come along for the ride with us i'm excited also i wore my awesome merch on the flight i freaking love this sweatshirt and the hoodies you guys are going to be obsessed with them they're so soft they launch in three days i cannot believe it we've been waiting for this day for so long cannot wait Chelsea comes into town tomorrow actually so we'll definitely give you guys more info about sizing and shipping and all of that stuff before they launch but I'm getting so excited all right I'm at the gas station getting gas does anyone else get freaked out to get gas on their own I don't know why I feel like I've heard too many horror stories of bad things happening at gas stations to women especially and it makes me nervous and then of course I got up to the thing and put my card in and it's like having all these errors and I'm standing outside and I'm like please work please work then I had to go to a different pump and anyway I'm getting gas all as well I'm locked in my car and we're safe I had a thought today so when I was at the film place I went up to the counter and the guy working didn't seem like he was gonna be in the best mood like he didn't seem that happy I did a little experiment I was like I wonder if I'm extra happy and nice if he'll just like be really nice to me because my first interaction with him he didn't seem like he was having the best day so I tried that I was like super nice and um, just like asking him how his day was and just being like more bubbly he was so nice back to me and like got into conversation with me he was asking me about what film camera I have and like it was such a sweet little conversation he was the sweetest man and I was like either I was just judgmental when I like first saw him and thought he was gonna be rude for some reason but anyway 
it was so nice and this same thing happened um, when we were in New York, we were at this pizza place and this woman, when we walked in, we had like a huge party. There was like 11 of us and she did not seem happy. And we were like, oh geez, she was being a little bit rude. And then we were just really nice to her and like engaging in conversation with her. And then she ended up being so nice. And my uncle was like, sorry for if we barged in, like we didn't mean to overwhelm you. And she was like, oh no, it's totally fine. And she was super nice. And I know that doesn't always work, but it just got me thinking. I was like, wow. I feel like if you go out of your way to be really kind to people, then for the most part, they respond well to it. The opposite is also true. If you're mean or rude to someone, they're more likely to be more rude back. So I think during this holiday season, we should all try and work on just being super kind to everyone because it really does make a huge difference. Let's see if this gas is ready. It's done. Just picked up some food from Creation. I got this green juice. It is the green number one. I got this white bean kale soup and then a chicken and rice soup that Leif and I both love. I'm giving this one to Leif because there's only one left. Whenever we get home from trips, we don't really have groceries. So I love stopping at Creation to get some food and juices. Something that I just learned, you guys, literally last week is that you can double tap AirPods and they pause and play. I had no idea that you could do that. So every time I would have my AirPods in and someone would talk to me, I'd be like, sorry, and like trying to pause it and whatever. And Leif's like, I think you can just touch them. And I looked it up and sure enough, you just double tap and it pauses. Very high tech. So now I'm going home and we can't pick up Lady for another, I think two hours. She is at the dog sitter's house. We have a lady that we leave her with almost every time. She lives really close to us and she has a dog that Lady gets along with really well. I, don't, I think she's not home or something so we can't pick her up for like two more hours. So I'm gonna go home gonna eat and then we'll probably pick her up. I'm so excited to see her. This is one of the longest times we've ever been away from her. It's been like almost 10 days. Okay, I just got my film photos back. That was so fast. That was literally an hour, not even an hour. I was planning to like get ready today, do my makeup and all that stuff, but I'm not feeling it anymore and the sun sets so early here now. It's three. It feels like it's already getting dark. It's just like a gloomy day, but it's seriously like dark outside. So I'm feeling more cozy. I do not want to get ready today. Guys, these are so cute. I'll put some on the screen so you can see them. I love it because it's just random moments that you capture and you can't really edit them. So it's just, it is what it is. today oh shiz. oh my gosh oh she's still going very scary Leif usually puts the fire on so I broke the match in half somehow Ooh. look who we got back she's so excited I missed you be a good girl uh -oh. Growls at me immediately. Love it. Wait, it's Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas. Do you even care? <laughs> we cannot open this soup to save our lives. Life already tried. Try again, Life. I'm, I'm about to have a hernia, so I'm gonna sue Nectar. This is not from Nectar. Creation. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! Strongest man in the world. Lady is so excited. Lady. Oh, thank you. Sit. Sit. High five. So excited. Lady, I missed you so much. We're eating our soup. It's so good. This white bean kale kind is really good. I've never tried it before now and it's a new favorite. How's yours? Delicious as always. I felt so unprepared for Black Friday this year. I like forgot it was coming. And me and Chelsea were talking on the phone. We're like, why don't we do all our Christmas shopping on Black Friday? Like, I know that's kind of one of the points of it, but like everything is on such good sale. And I didn't take advantage of that much stuff. 
Did you buy anything on Black Friday? I bought a few things. I also made a wish list on Anthropology um, because everything's 30% off and I sent it to Leif, so we'll see if I get anything. You sent it to me? Yeah, I texted it to you. Oh, I thought it was just one product. I didn't look at it. One um, Black Friday sale that you guys should not miss out on is my preset sale because they're on sale for 30% off both my mobile preset packs. These are both of my favorite presets I've ever made. Like they're so versatile. I've gotten such good feedback on them. So if you guys are looking to purchase presets, you should do it now while mine are 30% off. I'll put um, a before and after on the screen if you wanna see like the vibe of them. They're similar, but I would say the spring pack is more summery, peachy vibes. And then the fall and winter pack is more like earthy, like a little bit more neutral and earthy, but they are similar, but they're completely different presets. Same, same but different, but still same. But they always have kind of like a pastel feel just cause that's what I like, but yeah. You guys didn't know, JC is originally a photographer. She has been doing photography since she was 14. 14. So she's been doing photography for a while. She didn't just hop on the bandwagon of doing presets cause that's what influencers do. She knows what she's putting out there. She knows what she's talking about. I'll link them in the description for you guys though. Um, the sale will be going for today and then tomorrow and that's it. So if you guys want them, jump on. All proceeds go to Lady. Any shopping sprees she wants to have is for you, diva. Chelsea gets in tomorrow, tomorrow evening. I thought it was 8.30 a.m. but it's 8.30 p.m. So that's kind of nice because I have stuff I need to get done and you know clean up and stuff since we just got home from our long trip. So she'll be here tomorrow night. We have a busy week while she's here. So obviously we'll be taking you guys along because hashtag vlogmas, stay tuned. Uh, Ew. Some people think burps are equally as gross as toots. It's not I true. I don't think that they're equally as gross. Not some true. people think that the word toot is grosser than the word fart. Yeah, but some people think the word fart is grosser than the word toot. Yeah, that's what I think. Moral of the story, you can't please everyone. Moral of the story, do your own thing. Everyone's gonna judge you anyway. Lady, you're you going like nuts. If you don't like it, you can shove it. Lady's going nuts. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and supporting us. Get ready for some fun. Woo! -hoo! Throw it up. Grab it. Boom. Whoa. Boom. She will not face the camera. <laughs> Lady. Bye.